Now we're with uh, Rear Admiral Robert R. Fountain, the commander of the Naval Forces of the Marianas. Welcome to Ulithi, Admiral. Thanks very much, Eli. I'm glad to be out here. For my first opportunity to, uh, to be in the Yap District. My predecessors have been coming down to this graduation for uh, a number of years, as you are aware. We are extremely supportive of the efforts that are being made in here to provide uh, uh, the basic educational background for these people and uh, I'm quite pleased frankly I think that uh, that there's evidence here of a good strong uh, structural organization Thing, things are uh, are uh, well ordered and uh, in general I believe that uh, there's evidence here of, of a considerable political progress we're showing Carol that one ounce of fortified total has 100% of the recommended daily allowance of these nine important vitamins plus iron. Carol, what cereal did you have for breakfast? Um, I had cornflakes. How do you think one ounce of cornflakes will compare with total? I don't know. Total looks hard to beat. Let's compare. Total is a lot higher. At McDonald's, by a serving of Coca-Cola, meeting more large. And you receive one of these cars. A big man at regular price. I was staying with friends and ran out of my van roll-on. We have a certain commercials here uh, 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 in, included in these programs they're sending out to us. Uh, that is quite a bit out of place here. Such as, you know, advertising ladies' legs or certain uh, ingredients that you put on ladies' legs and make them smooth or pantyhose or stockings, things like that. And yet, uh, we do not show, uh, you, you don't, 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 it's hard to say it, uh, let me put it this way. Yep, is, uh, women always protect, uh, hide their thighs, because it is wrong in the custom for people to see women's thighs. Not for, it's not wrong for them to see, uh, I'm sure uh, nobody don't want to see women's thighs, uh, especially young ones. But it is part of their cu uh, culture that uh, they always have to hide the thighs and, and uh, they can go topless. that it just might be socially uh, divisive uh, or destructive in the community? Um, I don't see it that way, uh, no. Certainly, um, the people uh, might not get the best use of television uh, unless they act upon a good program of education economic development and that sort of thing, but uh, television in and of itself can't uh, be socially destructive. It, it, I think what the people are talking about is that, is that it, it seems unreal to be sitting out in a village somewhere or even in Colonia and seeing the ads for Southern California Ford dealers come up on television. Are the ads good for the uppies? If uh, the advertising that's on television as, uh, is necessary because of copyright laws, uh, if it creates in the IPs a knowledge of uh, 
what's available in the world and the desire to develop their uh, homes as living standards, uh, then it's valuable. But that's only uh, if it creates that desire, which, in my opinion, it should, but that's up to the individual. I know some uh, uh, people are opposed to advertising uh, U.S. Uh, products uh, over a Los Angeles station in Yap. However, the same is occurring in Palau, the rest of Micronesia, and Saipan, and Guam. Kemudian at the moment, I feel helpless and there's nothing really that can be done. Uh, when you think of it, the, uh, the, that the United States government is involved in the whole thing through uh, the uh, Pacific Taping Company in, in Los Angeles and through Bob Green, the uh, very influential people with means. Uh, to carry out uh, what they set out to do, which is to have television in Yap, whether we like it or not, so that it can serve the, the, the best interest of the U.S. government, the strategic interest in, uh, in Yap and in Micronesia. Uh, we have with us this morning Governor John Hakal and uh, members of his staff and the members of the board to open the uh, new World TV studio and uh, we're going to move our camera right in there and see what's going on inside the studio. Thank you very much, President. What you're looking at is uh, approximately 70,000 dollars worth of equipment, which uh, for television equipment is quite inexpensive. Much of the equipment, a lot of it was actually given to us by the installers. One color camera uh, at a cost of $5,000 was donated, two black and white TV sets, and some other odds and ends thrown in. This is the two-hour tape that is used. The, uh, Blank tape itself sells for in the states twenty dollars. I think in Guam twenty five. It seems that an island this small, where the prospects of, of ever making any money are so slim, it seems a somewhat suspect that Pacific Taping or any other business would be so strong in promoting this kind of venture here. Um, the the uh, ability of this company to come in at such great distances from Southern California and to continue to provide the service in the face of popular opposition, as was demonstrated by the legislature, indicates uh, a very strong force behind this, uh, this particular uh, enterprise. And uh, unfortunately, people in Yap who have a strong interest in determining what these forces are are somewhat limited in their uh, investigation because we really can't tell. We're all very isolated out here, and it's, uh, it's very hard to determine what the forces are, but clearly they're larger than just one single business. Well, I look at it and, uh, you know, I, I, people ask me, what is strategic? And I have to tell them we are in a position of war and I, we're like, a, uh, I, I feel like we're, we're under what? Uh, these islands are, you know, have been used uh, like a fence around the yard. Yeah. You know, you don't put your fence right under, you know, right in, on your doorstep. Mm -hmm. You usually have a fence somewhere outside there. But w w why should somebody use that as a, as a fence? No, no, I don't want it. And I just can't see that the uh, CIA has any... Uh, would waste their time on such a, uh, a, um, what is 
This was the final program in the current season of the international documentary series World. Certainly hope that you've enjoyed the series. Let you know that this coming Friday night at 9 o'clock on Channel 9, we begin the new 1980 season of Bill Moyer's Journal with his essay, Our Times, with Bill Moyer's taking a look at our recent past and near future. Bill Moyer's Journal starts Friday night at 9 o'clock.